Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video I'd like to take a closer look at how much weight we can expect to lose on a solid food vacation. Obviously, there are many factors that go into this equation, and of course, there's more than one type of solid food vacation. Uh, we've got a water fast and a juice fast, and you could include dry fasting also, but let's just look at water fasting and juice fasting initially. On a water fast, when we go on nothing but water, a lot of our weight loss is actually lean body tissue because we're not giving the body anything to live on. After three or four days, the body kicks in autolysis, which is a self-digesting mode. It also, the brain also switch over from, switches over from carbohydrates to fats. Ketosis kicks in because the body knows we're designed to eat carbohydrates. We have a small tank. We're supposed to eat fruit and fill the tank up all the time. And when we don't eat, the body knows what's going on. It has a backup system. So all these people who promote this type of eating, the low-carb eating, is the backup system. And there is no backup to it, which proves it's not the right way to go. But on a water fast, what happens is the body says, look, you know, in our body's wisdom, we know to go after the bad stuff first. Uh, we know to go after fat. We, need, we can use fat because we burn a lot of fat anyway. But then we've got organs that need to be fed, and what the body does is it'll rob Peter to pay Paul. If we're not using the digestive system, for example, it'll be used to make sure that the heart and the lungs and the brain and vital organs remain. In fact, when they've done studies on animals that are fasted and starved to death, they find that even when they starve to death, their brain is still like 98%, their heart's like 98, 97%. Those vital organs are preserved in the body's wisdom. Uh, and of course the body will cannibalize old crap also in the system. Uh, but the problem here is it's got to go after lean body tissue. So the, the big drawback to a water fast is you will lose some lean body tissue, which is why for every day you water fast, you need one day to recuperate. So a three week water fast would create another three weeks. That means that's a six week vacation from life in order to do this solid food vacation. So that's not a very practical option for a lot of people. Not to mention, if you have too many environmental toxins, you can damage your body, and most of us do. Gosh, babies are born with 287 in their umbilical cord, so what does the average person have that's been around for a while? Uh, so water fasting is not really gonna be a good way uh, for many of us for many reasons. Uh, so then we look at the juice fast. Now what's gonna happen on a juice fast? How much weight are you gonna lose? Well, I've coached thousands of people, and I know that the average man I coach, and keep in mind, I'm in America, the average guy here in America is not looking too good, darn it. Uh, they lose 30 pounds in 30 days. Now, of those 30, 30 pounds, they'll probably lose about 8 pounds of fat, and the other 22 pounds will be a combination of many things. And I've gone over this before. I've mentioned that there are seven major components of weight. And this is why it's really hard to have a, a, a good conversation with, <laughs> a good conversation with, uh, uh, with a lot of people on this subject because a lot of people don't understand we have these seven components of weight so all they do is they think about fat and water for example and of course what the biggest critic that you get on, with people saying oh you lost so much weight on, uh, on a juice fast that's not safe you lost water you'll gain it back that's not what you lose on a juice fast unless you have a lot of edema and you will lose that which we need to but you can't lose edema unless you get rid of the reason why we have the edema that's why the juice fasting is so powerful because you get rid of the garbage that created the edema but at the same time, we address the other issue because we're dehydrated intracellularly. And most of us, I, most people I coach come in at 50%, and it takes a long time to bump that up to be 70% where it needs. And of course, fat skews the numbers because it doesn't have much water. But the biggest problem that we have when it comes to understanding true weight loss is most people don't understand that we have two major components of weight that have to do with waste matter. One is relatively fresh. And I'll be, I'll be generous here and say up to a week or maybe two weeks old because there's a good chance we can still get that stuff out of us if it's, uh, if, if, even if at that stage. But we have to realize that the longer food is in our intestines, the colon, the large intestines, the more water we've pulled out of it. So once something's in there for a while, it's like axle grease on the side of the colon. And to get an idea of what I'm talking about, uh, I'll provide a link to a video you can see. I'll put it in the description box below. And you can see where this stuff is. This is from the inventor of the colonoscopy. And you can clearly see once you get into this video how stuff is going to accumulate in the colon. And people say it doesn't exist. Um, that's, um, you know, it's, 
Uh, why do people believe in nonsense? Uh, why can't people stand on more than one person's shoulders? It's funny when I hear comments from people, I, I can tell pretty much what they've read and whose shoulders they stood on and where they tend to side. And, and some people have some really good information out there. There's a lot we can get from them, but then there's going to be a little bit of crap that comes with it. It's hard to find anybody who's 100%. And, and what you find with a lot of people that I've seen is all they are are parrots. They don't have any original thoughts. Um, they study people who don't have any original thoughts uh, and they just parrot what they think is true. And there's a lot of ignorance in this movement. And I know for myself, I would never make any kind of comment as stupid as saying, this stuff doesn't exist. My God, that really tells me a lot about a person if they're going to make a comment like that. Because this is quantifiable, buddy. You know, why would you make such a stupid comment? Look at the comment section on my YouTube channel and look at all the people releasing crap. I documented 45 pounds of stuff coming out of me and I lost 20 pounds on the scale, scale and it was really obvious <laughs> where I lost it because I'm documenting it and I'm weighing that shit when it comes out of my butthole. If that stuff doesn't exist, you tell me where that 45 pounds came from. If I'm talking bullshit, you're calling me a liar, that means you're bullshit. It means you're protecting something your little bitty belief system because you stand on one person's shoulders and you think they know everything and then you kick them out and try to take them down what's your motive man I know you've you've had a tough life we all have man some a lot worse than others we live in hell so don't deny the serpent buddy anyone don't deny the serpent don't make stupid comments and influence people thinking, oh, I don't want to do it now. I believe this guy, and he said it doesn't exist, so it must be true. Good, I don't have to do it. Everyone's looking for an excuse not to do what they got to do. Now, if you're living the right way, like I do, and I do a juice fast, I don't have any old stuff come out of me. I don't have it. So sure, it's not in everyone any, if you eat the right way, but most people aren't eating the right way. Most of us are carrying 12 to 15 meals that are backed up in their colon. So when the average man loses 10 pounds in the first week, what that is, it's going to be one of those two major components of weight. The stuff that's relatively fresh. 12 to 15 meals. Think about it. This is what's really ruining our lives. We're carrying around a bag of shit. Why would you want to carry around a bag of shit? Would you actually literally carry around a bag of shit? That's what we're doing. When you have 12 to 15 meals that are backed up in your colon, you don't have a fast moving sewage system anymore. You've got a slow, stagnant cesspool, and it's no different than having a bag of shit inside you. And you wouldn't go around carrying a bag of shit, would you? And what if I said there was an easy way to find out if you've got a bag of shit? Stop eating. Take one week out of your life, man, I challenge you. You'll get rid of that first bag of shit, and you're going to go, hey, guy wasn't lying. I was eating the regular way. I wasn't eating really good. And sure enough, man, I'm seeing my belly shrink. I'm pooping my brains out. And once you do this, it takes a while, close to the second week. For me, it was always day 10, day 11, when I started seeing the old stuff come out of us. So there are two of the seven components of weight that have to do with waste matter. One's relatively fresh. We get rid of that pretty quick. And that's, I think, the most dangerous because that stuff is what's seeping into our body. This older stuff that I'm talking about now that we have is sort of like the mercury in our teeth. If we've had it for 20 years, that mercury's already been absorbed in the body. It's already done the damage. You almost don't even need to worry about taking that mercury out. But you know what? When you change your diet, your body's going to eject it. That's what happened to all my mercury fillings. But I said, get rid of this shit. And it did. Uh, but this relatively fresh stuff is, is, is what I'm more concerned about. And people don't realize that that's what they're carrying around, that little bag of shit. And then you got that other component of weight. And, I, and that's what got me in trouble. I had a lot of that stuff. I had a lot of herniated blowouts on the side of my colon wall. So most athletes, and I know I coach a lot of athletes, I know what they go through. I know what kind of appetite they have. I was a world-class athlete putting in seven, eight hours of exercise every day. I was eating a lot of food. I could have weighed 600 pounds if I wasn't exercising. That's why I always feel i got to qualify my situation. How did I end up with a 20-pound cesspool? Eating four big meals a day. 12, 1,500 mil, calorie meals, big four meals. I had to. I'm, when you put in an eight-hour day, you just can't 
start and punch in and, and then now you got to do it in segments. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a full day's job to say the least. And I had some days I did 12 hours a day, which means I even ate more. So I really abused my system in that way. And I wish I had known back then what I know now, I could have avoided all that by eating the right foods that had a faster bowel transit time and then relied more on juices to supplement my diet instead of going to something like sugar. I know why some athletes put sugar in their stuff. I know what it's all about. Yeah, because it, you know when you got to eat the fruit to do that, you got a big old belly down here, don't you? I know what it's like to process a lot of food. That's why people put sugar, 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 sugar. I'm going to go run, I'm going to go, I'm going to go bike it off. <laughs> sugar, 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 yeah. Vain, vanity, ego. That's what all that is. I don't want to have this, I don't want to process a whole bunch of food. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So there's, again, another component of weight, right? That's the relatively fresh stuff, but that's the stuff we're supposed to have. We're supposed to have a fast moving sewage system. And if you're eating healthfully, by the, before noon time, you should have everything you ate the day before out of you, unless you're eating too late in the evening, which is what's happening to me at this time of year. And it, but I have to make do, I'm not gonna miss out on the best time of year. I love being flexible enough to change my routine and enjoy the best times of the day. And that's what we need to learn how to do somehow. We gotta learn how to interact with our environment the right way so we don't end up with all these other components of weight. And, and that's so hard to do when we got this extra weight, isn't it? Well, what is this extra weight for most of us? Well, well for men, a good part of that 22 pounds I mentioned is gonna be this old crappy stuff inside your body. But remember the waters, the water percentage kind of changes things up. And then for the woman, for the women, the average woman will lose about 20 pounds in 30 days. And that's here in America. And about seven pounds in the first week. So again, that first week, the men and the women, seven pounds, 10 pounds, that's relatively fresh stuff. Some people, 12, 15 meals a day. If you eat meat every day, it takes three days to go through your system. There's nine meals right there. As soon as we start putting that stuff in there, we create bottlenecks. And then as we age the intestine, uh, stretches out and there's no peristaltic movement. So a lot of people have these big bulging bellies. And when we're talking about crap inside the colon, my God, my God, you have no idea how much shit some people have inside their system. The colons are ballooning out to one section over there. Uh, to say this stuff doesn't exist is such a stupid, stupid comment to make because this is quantifiable. The vast majority of people who do this, if you want proof that what I'm saying is true, do the juice fast. Go down below to the description box, do the first of my three-step process. Within one week, you'll have all the proof you need and it's scientific proof, it's concrete verifiable proof, it's indisputable proof that this stuff exists. Now, if you're eating a raw food diet, no, that's not gonna happen. Unless you just, you're new to the raw food diet and you haven't done any real good cleansing. Because there's a lot of people been raw for, for five, six years and then they had no idea their colons were so messed up that there are still stuff in there. So, you might be surprised. Test it. Find the courage to test this to see if it's really true. And again, for women, if you lose, let's say, 20 pounds, again, you might lose up to 8 pounds of that might be fat. And then the other 12 pounds would be, again, a combination of, of garbage. And, uh, and then the water goes up and down based on whether you have edema or you're dehydrated. Most of us are, are dehydrated, but a lot of us have edema too, so it's a kind of an interesting mix between the two. So this is the fastest and safest weight loss program on the market today. Why? Because it gets rid of the most dangerous substance in the world. When people say this doesn't exist, you're in for a battle and you're, and you're gonna lose and you're already lost, look at the comments section down below. Do it yourself. If you're eating a raw food diet, you probably won't see that. If you're only eating one cooked meal a day, it all depends on whether or not your system is damaged. My system was damaged, I couldn't get away with anything cooked. I know, because I documented everything. Every time I ate anything cooked, it plugged me up, because I had damaged my colon. I had all these herniated blowouts on my colon wall. Raw food never went into those, but cooked food did. So for me, when I had to look at my scale and figure out weight gain, I knew those 300 calories of broccoli didn't cause me to gained two pounds, so what was it? That cooked crap went back into those herniated pockets. How do I know that? Because I tried to get it out by eating fruit and stuff, it didn't work, going on another juice fast, and I literally pooped that stuff out of me again. 
And how do I know what it was? Because it's like a puzzle coming out of you. You see the shape of where it came from, like a mold. I mean, this isn't rocket scientist. Science, you know, people say, where's the proof? You, you, you know, look at, where's the proof? We are the scientists. You are the scientists. Everything you do, you, all you have to do is look at what you do. Now you're being scientific. So if you want proof, be your own scientist. Do the juice fast. Watch what comes out of you. Read the comment section down below and look at the amazing comments of, that people uh, are sharing about the stuff they're seeing come out of you. Stupid comment if you're going to say this stuff doesn't exist because it does. It's easily to prove. It's easy to prove. And, uh, and you know, heed the words of Aristotle. There's, believe only your own life or your own experience. There's no fact like a, a fact learned from your own life. So find the courage to go down below at least and, and watch the Deborah Duncan show and listen to Dr. Roba and then the video on how to do it and do it. And when you do, you're in for a treat.